Just a quick flick to point out the latest shenanigans from Facebook. Essentially, they're preventing me from searching. So there's no search bar at the top. There's... There's a hovering bar, but it doesn't do anything. Anything significant, anyway. It'll let me search as... Search my own profile, but that's it. I'm not allowed to search Facebook, apparently. And obviously, the insidious part about all of this is you're just not told about it. And uh, here's a friend I'm trying to message. Good luck. Not happening. This is after I recently kicked up my activity and was drawing conscientiousness towards the division that's created. Uh, what seems like engineered social inflammation that's been created by Pride Month that has nothing to do with people's beliefs, but it's, it's more about getting people against each other. It's definitely creating a lot of controversy and social tension. The SPRC, my acronym for the self-proclaimed ruling class, I mean, they need inflammation in society to keep our eyes off them, essentially. Anyway, so I point that out and the next day I get this shadow censorship, this pseudo shadow censorship, the functionality, dysfunction, whatever you want to call it, where I can't search and I can't message in. Uh, from a tech perspective, I've allowed third party stuff, et cetera, et cetera, but to no avail. I haven't changed anything in my browser. It's just, when does it end? There's dozens of examples of this that I've recorded now, and I think people need to record their examples and upload them and share them more. Uh, obviously, your capacity to do that's inhibited at the same time, but with all the creepy censorship stuff that Facebook does, but we got to share this stuff more. And you can be skeptical, and that's okay. I encourage people to ask questions about this stuff, but while you're asking questions, I encourage you to ask yourself, what number of examples do you need to see? Especially when we're talking about one of the world's largest tech companies and certainly one of the most capable. And don't forget about the scandals and now legally exposed, not just departments of censorship, but in cross involvement with government agencies, all of which was initially denied and completely covered up. This is a well-known industry-wide issue, and I think we all look forward to them getting as exposed as Twitter did. But these companies have billions at their disposal and pinning them to the wall isn't exactly as easy as it sounds. With the FBI, well, we know uh, uh, how many FBI agents worked at Twitter while you were there? I don't believe any active FBI Former agents. Former FBI agents, how many worked there while you were there? I'm aware of perhaps two. Well, we know of at least nine um, because they started the BU group chat, BU for Bureau. We're living in the information age and there's an info war going on. And apparently no tactic is off the table.